Trumpets fanfare the coming of a saint, gracing the skyline, but known by name, down on the streets of Brooklyn. My mother loved him, so I do it for her. The devotion to St. Anthony on display at Our Lady of Peace in Park Slope has been passed down for generations. Catholics remember the man as a doctor of the church and a powerful Franciscan preacher. And with all of his intelligence, he never spoke above the people. He spoke to the people. Father Patrick Boyle says that's what first attracted new Italian immigrants in New York to the saint. They could connect with his message, even though he was Portuguese. Today, they sell all symbols of the man who they call their personal patron. So it's actually a tradition to pin money to the feast day statue. I'm here with Millie, who is 99, and she's been doing this for years. And she says it's a way of saying thank you for everything the saint has done for you. Naveen is every year. You got to make a sacrifice, you get a favor, you got to pay back. Typically, those with a devotion will pray what's called the 13 Tuesdays, just over three months of prayers. Connie has been reciting them for nearly a century. Oh, since day one. No matter what the request, he hears her. I mean it, it could be the least little. And St. Anthony grants me that wish. No matter what you ask him, you'll get an answer. And maybe it's not what you want to hear, but at least you'll get an answer. The saint is usually called upon to find the lost, people and things. When I lose something, I say, St. Anthony, St. Anthony, come around, something's lost and can't be found. And I forget about it. And before you know it, I find it. What Brooklynites say they will never forget about is their love for St. Anthony. They say this feast will continue till long after this generation is gone. For Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.